Over the weeks that um, it's been since a Liberian patient tested positive with the uh, Ebola virus, the state has been fully engaged on every level of response to this crisis. Yesterday I spoke with President Obama. Among other matters, I asked him as a stopgap measure to fast track CDC acknowledgement of the next level facilities that are better prepared to deal with diseases like Ebola. This will let people know that there will be a place to go if they get sick in Texas. It's indefensible that one of Mr. Duncan's nurses was allowed to fly from Ohio to Dallas after she said that she had a low-grade fever. Air travel is, in fact, how this disease crosses borders. And it's certainly how it got to Texas in the first place. Based on recent and ongoing developments, I believe it is the right policy to ban air travel from countries that have been hit hardest by the Ebola outbreak. Certainly, there should be an exception for aid workers so that they continue their important work fighting this disease. Again, we have seen on many occasions that things need to be improved in this process. Considering this was the first time that Ebola has been diagnosed on American shores, it's perhaps, it's perhaps understandable that mistakes were made, but it's also unacceptable. And to that end, 11 days ago, I issued an executive order creating the Texas Task Force on Infectious Disease Preparedness and Response. Today, they submitted a preliminary group of recommendations for our future preparedness. They include establishing Ebola treatment centers in Texas with state-of-the-art equipment and specially trained healthcare workers to provide care to patients when that disease is most contagious. They also recommend expanded training for healthcare workers in Texas. And they'll be conducting hearings to determine the scope and nature of that training. They're also calling on the legislature to expand the ability of the DSHS chief to impose enforceable control orders, making it more difficult for people at high risk of infection to ignore directives and for them uh, to limit their uh, exposure to the public, for them to go out into uh, the general public. Also calling for more uh, testing labs in addition to the lab that we already have here in Austin. Texas is only one of 16 uh, states that are authorized to conduct Ebola testing, but having additional facilities in different regions of the state will cut down on the time it takes to diagnose a patient. The important thing for everyone uh, in Texas to remember is that the odds of a specific person contracting Ebola are still exceptionally remote. Many of the steps that we're taking and many of the steps that we have taken have been taken out of an abundance of caution. Ebola is a dangerous, persistent foe, but the threat to the general public remains negligible. 